when we took this land over, it was seriously overgrown. When I grew up here in the early 60s, there wasn't a tree on the place. It was as if the Confederates had just left it, as they did 100 years ago. It was red dirt, hard and crusted. We rode our bicycles all over it. And when I came back up here after we were given the land, I was amazed to see the amount of growth that had taken place. Once you got to the top parapet here where we just were with the statues is, you, uh, you couldn't really get any further without a machete or without really having to go through some thick brush. Down trees, vines, it was, it was very bad. So we've done a lot of work to clear the area and make it look as close to it as its original Appearance. structure yeah. as, as it can. This bridge was a Boy Scout Eagle Scout project done by one of our members' sons. Uh, as you can imagine, we get a lot of rain here. This is not, many people think Seattle's the rainiest place in the country. Well, it rains more days there, but we get more inches of rain here. And when we get one of the two or three inch deluges we can get in an hour or two, this moat fills with water. So uh, it was very nice to have a little bridge and then uh, the stairs our camp members built themselves. 